In this video, I'm going to show you why U-Trips is so freaking powerful. This offense can beat man coverage, zone coverage, match coverage, blitzing coverage defense. Doesn't matter what your opponent does, U-Trips has an answer for everything. Um, your routes will get open really easily in U-Trips, and the spacing on the field is really, really powerful. Now, if you want to get my full U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link is down below. Um, by joining the Patreon for just 10 bucks, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to check all that content out, make sure you uh, join the Patreon. The link is down below. U-Trips or Y-Off Trips Pass. This is found in the New England Patriots playbook. Today we're going to be going over the play Pat's Y out and why I think this is one of the best zone beaters and man beaters um, in this game. So Pat's Y out I think is one of the best plays of the year. It's, I think it's definitely play of the year, one of the plays of the year. Um, and the setup is actually really simple. So what we're going to do is we are we don't need any uh, any hot route abilities, anything. Um, in U-Trips it is nice to have a tight end apprentice, but you honestly don't even need that. Um, you don't need any, like route chemistries or route abilities that that being said um like i said it is nice to have a time to print but you don't have to have that so uh what we're going to do is we're going to streak this solo receiver and then with the tight end you have kind of some options of whatever you want to do with him you can put him on a streak you could put him on a in route and then block your running back um you could put him on an out route if you wanted to i really like just a simple in route to the tight end in this play and then we're just going to motion this post across the formation. And what you're going to see is that this, this is going to become a corner route. And when you flood short side zones, it makes it really easy to clear out zones. So what, I'm, what do I mean by that? Well, you notice here that I run the, the formation with my trips to the right, to, that, to the wide side of the field. The ball's on the left hash. If the ball was on the right hash mark, um, I would go ahead and flip this play, okay? And so what that means is when we want to throw a short side corner route, it is really easy to do that, whether they be in cover three or cover four, because this slot will pull all, all the deep zones back. So you see here that outside third gets pulled back because he's in that grid, and you see how open McCole Hardman is. And then, like I said, you can do a lot of different hot routes with the tight end. You can justify a lot of different hot routes. What I like to do is put something on the field that's going to hold the user. And I think this little five-yard in route will actually hold the user um, over the middle. And then it allows me the time to hit that route in behind the zone. So as you see right there, that's our that's our main read against cover three or cover four. Now, if they run cover two, I will say it's kind of interesting. Most people don't run cover two um, against U-trips. But if they do want to run uh, cover two, this corner route should still get over the cloud. You want to high ball that up and outside. And as you can see, you can possession catch that high ball animation on the sideline to be able to get separation against cover two. Now, that being said, what this is going to force your opponent to do is it's going to force them to have to basically double Mabel. They're going to have to have a, uh, a zone over there to guard the tight end, and they're going to have to have a zone over there to guard the uh, wide receiver going deep down on the corner route. So what it's going to do is it's going to lead them to a coverage that basically looks kind of like this. Now, their user is going to be in a little bit of conflict uh, over the middle of the field because he is going to have to defend the tight end route. If he doesn't defend the tight end route, the tight end, you can throw that right in that little pocket right there quick. So the user is going to have to naturally lurk um, to the tight end. If you start to get a lot of this double Mabel, uh, double flat style of defense, what I like to tell people is you want to then attack the middle of the field. So um, the easiest way to do that is to take your running back and just sneak him out of the field on a little basic in route. Something super simple like this. Now they have to go to the tight end and you have the running back, whoops, uh, um, you have the running back open. If they go to the tight end, they actually stayed on the, on the running back. But anyway, I'll show you an example of them going uh, to the tight end here one second. So you'll see here, you know, they're, you, they're lurk. They're going to go guard the tight end over the middle because that's the way the play is naturally flowing to. And then we're just going to sneak our running back out in this little basic in route right here. And you're going to see right there, you can kind of sneak up for a couple of yards. Now, this play is not perfect. 
if they do run a double Mabel cover two. Um, there's other plays in the formation that will absolutely nuke that coverage, but those are some simple ways to attack it if you know they if you guess wrong and they actually are in that. Now let's go to man coverage here for just a second. If they run man coverage, this route to R1, if they don't shade down, you're gonna throw that right off the snap. That's probably the best route, one of the best routes in the game for attacking man-to-man -man coverage this year. Just this real basic wheel route is going to force them to have to, basically they're going to have to shade underneath. Uh, I'm going to show you why that can be a little bit problematic here in just a second. But you'll see here, you're just passing. There I threw it a little bit too late. Um, but as soon as you see the cornerback doesn't like, you know, lurk it, then you're going to throw it. So again here you know the main read is the is that route now the other two routes do get open as well but you'll see here just throw this out here pass lead outside a lot of times he'll miss that tackle and that can be a you know a, an easy uh big play for your offense now the if they shade underneath um what you're going to want to do is attack uh with your you'll see right here um uh, the circle receiver on this corner route. So you see here, he'll take that false step under. So you just want to basically high ball up and outside. And what I like to do is f go ahead and free form it as well. Sometimes with free form, uh, you can get those overthrows like you just saw me get. So you can, you know, again, use your judgment with that. But if you have the space or the separation to throw that, go ahead and throw that. You also have this little tight end in route that is very consistent against man to man. If you're running this offense and you don't have short end elite on your tight end, you're doing yourself uh, a disservice in my opinion. But then here again, here's the corner against shaded underneath man. You're just going to high ball up and out. And a lot of times you'll be able to make that catch. So you have that. Another thing that you have within this formation that's actually really good is let's say they put some zones over there to stop, you know, your quarter route or your tight end or whatever. Um, this streak is very good against any kind of man. All you're going to do is just highball it to the place that it has leverage, and you're going to get that one-on-one. -on -one. So in this year's game, those reads are really good. And back to the freeform thing for just a second, if you freeform these streaks and these corners as well as highball, you will find that it makes them almost unpickable. Um, so you'll see here, here's the streak. I'm going to freeform and pass lead it straight up, and he's going to get that little animation over the top. Now, again, these receivers, you want bigger receivers for this. Uh, ideally, the Chiefs receivers are actually a little small uh, for what we want to accomplish. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, you want to be able to just, again, highball this over the top of these defenders. And the easiest way to do that is to use freeform because it's going to lead it out there a little bit more. Mahomes has got such a cannon, but you see he's wide open. And I'll show you it without freeforming just to show you the concept. If you freeform it, it just gets out there a lot more, um, and that's kind of the reasoning uh, behind it. So again here, let me show you this motion over. And the other thing is, like I said, you can hit these little underneath routes and be fine. Like these underneath routes are wide open. But if you just want to really get it out there, lob it up, there's the high ball. That's what we're looking for. So you see how um, that can get over the top of main coverage. So if you have um, you know, a good quarterback, you're going to be fine. Just get the ball over the top. So that's pretty much the reads for man. Um, if they do shade underneath, I do want to show you something with this little route to Tony over here on the, the RB route. You'll see here that you can kind of freeform up and outside and it can get over the top as well. So you see how the free form allows you to throw these passes um, against the sticky man-to-man -man meta. Now, the main thing that you have for this play for man coverage is that wheel, is the corner, is the in route. So, you know, take what the defense gives you, but this is one of the most well-equipped plays to be able to attack everything that the defense can do. Now, if you want to learn more about my U-Trips offense, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that, and it gets you access to all of our eBooks, including our U-Trips eBook, and we're dropping a brand new eBook in there this week that you'll get access to, so make sure that you sign up for the Patreon. The link is down in the description below.